A thermal power plant is a plant that converts heat energy into electric power. In most, in most of the place in the world, the turbine is steam driven. Okay, uh, that start with water is heated, then turn into steam, and then steam flow into the turbine that spin the turbine blade, and and then it will produce the electric power. After it pass through the turbine, the steam is condensed in the condenser and recycled to where it was heated. This is known as a Rankine cycle. The greatest variation in the design of thermal power plant is due to the different heat source, such as fossil fuel, the minutes here, although nuclear heat energy and solar heat energy are also used. Some prefer to use the term energy center because such facilities convert form of heat energy into electrical energy. Then thermal plant also are designed to produce heat energy for industrial purpose or district heating or desalination of water in addition to generating electric power. The example of thermal power plant is coal fire power plant in Tanjung Bin Power Station and Jimah Power Station. Firstly, chemical energy is converted to heat energy by combustion of fuel in the boiler and then heat energy is heat energy converts the water to high pressure and high temperature steam which is in the boiler and then the steam that produce is admitted to the turbine through pipe generator is coupled to turbine where mechanical energy is converted to the electric energy and then in the turbine section steam expand as it is passed through number of nozzle heat energy heat energy is thus converted to the kinetic energy Steam is then passed over blade, arranged on shaft of turbine. Shaft rotates and kinetic energy is thus converted to the mechanical energy. Steam exhausted from turbine condensed in condenser, rejecting unavailable, unavailable heat energy. And then uh, for the lastly, pump deliver condensed water from condenser back to the boiler. That's all. For the reaction turbines, uh, reaction turbines develop torque by reacting to the gas or fluid pressure or mass. The pressure of the the pressure of the gas or fluid change as it passes through the turbine rotor blades. A pressure casement is need to contain the working fluid as it adds on the turbine stage, or the turbine must be fully immersed in the fluid flow such as uh, with wine turbines. The casing contain and direct the working fluid and for water turbines, maintain the suction in part by the draft tube. Francis turbine and the most steam turbine was used this concept. For compressible working fluids, multiple turbine stage are usually used to harness the expanding gas efficiently. Newton's third law, Describe the transfer of energy for reaction turbines. Reaction turbines are better suited to higher flow velocity or application where the fluid heat upstream pressure is low. For comparison, uh, for comparison with uh, reaction turbine and impulse turbine is uh, the overall efficiency of the of a reaction turbine is slightly higher than equivalent impulse turbine for the same thermal energy conversion. Okay, for steam generation, a steam generator is a device used to create steam by applying the heat energy to the water. Usually, construction of steam generator is a spiral coil of water tube arranged as a single monotube or coil. 
for the pump lorry uh, the pump lorry is adjustable which means it can be adjust according to the quantity of steam required at that time the burner output is throttled to maintain a constant working of temperature the burner output required varies according to the quantity of water being evaporated which is which means this can be either adjusted by open loop control according to the pump throughput or by a closed loop control which is to maintain the measured temperature Refrigeration cycle is known as heat flows in the direction of decreasing temperature. The vapor compression refrigeration cycle is common method for transferring heat from a low to high temperature. The device is called refrigerating machine, which a device to cool or maintain a body temperature below the surrounding. Heat must be made to flow from a body at low temperature to the surrounding at high temperature. The main important parts consist of evaporator, condenser, compressor, and expansion pump. Refrigeration cycle is one of the equipment that absent in thermal power plant. This is because the vapor compresses from low to high temperature, which not suitable for thermal power plant. <laughs> Another equipment that is not available in thermal power plant is a compressor. A compressor is a mechanical device that increases the pressure of a gas by reducing its volume. An air compressor is a specific type of gas compressor. Compressors are very similar to pump. Both increase the pressure on the fluid and both can transport the fluid through a pipe. As gas are compressible, the compressor also reduces the volume of the gas. Liquids are relatively incompressible while some can be compressed. The main action of a pump is to pressurize and transport liquids. The steam generator is quite similar with thermal power plant. Okay, first of all, I will start with boiler. Um, the similar things, uh, boiler in thermal power plant is chimney. Okay, in thermal power plant, chimney that will release the flue gas, but the uh, in boiler will release the overload steam that can see the pressure at this meter. If exceeding 340, it uh, need to control this stop valve to release the steam, or safety valve will we release the steam. Other than that, in thermal power plant also have feed water pump. The feed water pump in this lab scale will use the this water that uh, clear uh, clear water because if we use water that not uh, clear uh, with impurities, they will um, corrosion in this boiler. Okay, other than that, in thermal power plant also have cooling water. The cooling water in this lab scale we use tap water that will open from here and then water will flow flow out through the um, condenser that will um, convert steam to hot water and then it will hot and then the hot water will flow again to the boiler to recycle back the water and make it as a steam again okay, This is the reaction to bite The to bite in our lab are not exactly the same in the thermal power plant but the function is quite similar same Okay, there are four main components in reaction to bite The first is spirit casing for the spirit casing is a reaction turbine is designed in such a way that its cross sectional area goes on reducing uniformly around the circular. The cross sectional area is maximum at the entrance and minimum at the tip. 
due to this, uh, the casing will be of spiral shape. Next, for the gap mechanism. Gap mechanism is the arrangement of the airplanes which will guide the water to ring towards a uh, runner. And then allow the water allow the water to enter the runner without shock, which is gap base to relative velocity at the end of the runner tangential to the wind angle and this result is entering of the water without shock. Then allow the water to flow. Then allow the water to flow then without forming a disc. Next for the turbine runner. Turbine runner is the, the rotating wheel of the reaction turbine is known as runner. Runner consists of many curved plates and with circular disc. For small, for small diameter, they are tested as a single unit. The runner is key to a shaft which may be vertical or horizontal. If vertical, it is called uh, vertical turbine. And then if it, if it is if it horizontal, it is called horizontal turbine. And lastly, draft tube. The water after passing through the runner, it flows down through a tube called draft tube. It, it is increased the heat of water equal to the height of the runner on the above the tail base. And it also increases the efficiency of the turbine. This is the refrigeration system of black skin machine. First, we have condenser, evaporator, compressor, and expansion box. Compressor, which this is a compressor, which is used to reduce the pressure in the evaporator, increase the pressure of the vapor being transferred to the condenser. Expansion box is used to control the flow of liquid in the and reduce the uh, pressure. While condenser we use to bring the high pressure vapor contents and reject the heat to its surrounding, which from vapor to the quick. And lastly, we got an evaporator, which is during heat is taken from the temperature region as the liquid evaporates at low pressure uh, when which is liquid to vapor. A centrifugal compressor is made up of an impellent with a series of curved radial rings. However, for the lab scale centrifugal compressor, uh, only one blade is used to determine uh, difference of flow rate between blade angle. So, this is the inlet part of the compressor and the outlet part. Here is the manipulating variable of compressors with Non-destructive testing is a wide group of analysis technique that used in science and technology industry to evaluate the properties of component material or system without causing damage. The seeds most frequently used in NDT methods are eddy current, magnetic particle, liquid penetrant, radiographic, ultrasonic and visual testing. NDT is used to inspect pipelines to prevent leaks that can damage the environment. There are three suggested NDT methods that can be used which are visual inspection, radiography and electromagnetic testing. For the visual inspection is uh, the most basic and common method. Usually to use is fiberscope, borescope, magnifying glass and mirror. Video inspection unit with zoom allowed inspection of large tank and vessel, railroad, tank cars, sewer line uh, that suitable for the steam boiler. Another way is uh, by using robotic roller, which is 
the permit observation in hazardous or tight area such as a uh, reactor or pipeline areas uh, the operation of a robotic crawler is uh, by using ultrasound which is to inspect the walls of large above ground tanks for sign of tinning due to the corrosion that's all component can be examined to verify the internal structure and integrity of the specimen. Industrial radiography can be performed utilizing either X-ray or gamma ray. Both are form of endothermic radiation. The difference between various forms of endothermic energy is related to the wavelength. X and gamma rays have the shortest wavelength of this property, leads to the ability to penetrate, travel through and exit various materials such as carbon steel and fibrous material. The third method of entity that can be used is by, is by electromagnetic testing. Electromagnetic testing can be done by using two methods, which is uh, magnetic flux leakage inspection and also eddy current testing. Magnetic flux leakage inspection. The basic principle is that a powerful magnet is used to magnetize the steel. At areas where there is corrosion or missing metal, the magnetic field leaks from the steel. In an NFL, MFL2, a magnetic detector is placed between the poles of the magnet to detect the leakage field. Analysts interpret the chart recording of the leakage field to identify damage areas and to estimate the dip of the the dip of the metal loss. This device known as PIG, P I G, in acronym for Pipeline Inspection Gauge, is placed in the pipeline and collects data on the condition of the pipe as it is pushed along by whatever is being transported. The second method is by eddy current testing. Periodically, power plants are shut down for inspection. Inspectors fit eddy current props into heat exchanger tubes to check for corrosion damage.